Hello, and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. You join me tonight for another product showcase. And this evening, we shall be looking at minis from Corvus Belly's Infinity. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the latest miniature painting and tabletop gaming videos. Also, don't miss the live Twitch channel weeknights, Monday to Thursday, from 7 o'clock BST. Click the link below. And now, on with the show. Um, this was something that was prompted by one of our regular viewers, uh, Perry. And he suggested, or well, he asked a question, what is the coolest minis for Infinity? And I said, Perry, I don't know. <laughs> but that sounds like a really great uh, subject for us to discover. So I've put it out there, as you've seen over the last couple of days, and I've had some suggestions back. But ultimately, I think this is a group chat where we'll take a look at minis from uh, Corvus Belly's Infinity and just gauge, well, what do we think is cool? Uh, cool, of course, is completely objective. There is no right or wrong answer to this. Uh, everybody's viewpoint is very, very welcome. Okay, here we go. So this this is Corvus Belly's Infinity Hot or Not. Right then. So does anybody want to jump at a suggestion right off the bat? Does anybody know a mini that I should go in to look at? What interested me, though, of course, is the very first thing here is 485 products. That is a lot of minis. I didn't realize there were so many. So, Snick, you have a suggestion. Tell us the name. We will check it out. I don't think you can play it uh, single, Xander. It's obviously a miniature skirmish game, so you need to be fighting against somebody else. But I could be wrong. Uh, again, if we've got any diehard Infinity fans in the audience, please do correct. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time the monkey makes a mistake. Let's just see what they've got on their main page here. Joan of Arc. Okay. Let us just put that in straight away. Ah, we have a few here. We got a bust, we have the multi rifle, and the mobility uh, armor. Let us take a look at the standard figure first. So, uh, wow, this is quite a, an impressive pose on the, uh, the figure, isn't it? I love all the edge highlighting that they do uh, on all of their minis. The uh, they look really, really cool. I wish I I could be so intricate. Oh, there's an alternate head. So you can have long flowing hair or uh, a tight bun. All right. What do people think? Do you uh, do you think this is a good mini? Again, there's no right or wrong answers on this. We're just uh, getting people's opinions. Has anyone got this mini? Have they painted it? Yeah, so are we getting a big thumbs up for Joan of Arc? Excellent. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, hello, Wild788. Welcome to the channel. You have the limited edition one from N3. Uh, so does it look... Is it... Obviously, it's different for, from this mini, I, I assume. So it's neither of these two here. Uh, and Wild 7, again, if uh, you have a photograph of the mini, uh, I don't know if you're part of our community, but uh, exclamation Discord, you can join on in, upload the photograph to the WIP gallery, and uh, we can take a look later on once we finish this. It'll be interesting to see the uh, the difference between the two. Given that next month I shall be doing a bust, I thought we'd take a quick look at Joan here. See what I've got to try and uh, 
emulate goodness. So you, you can you can really see where an airbrush pays off here, can't you? The transitions and in, in the highlights in the armor just look so beautiful. And of course, I love then all of the detailing of the scratches, the slight battle damage. At this present time, I'm going through a uh, sort of resource to try and find different uh, images for inspiration for the bust that I'll be doing, well, starting Monday next week. So, uh, so this is interesting to see blonde hair. Okay, that gives me an idea. All right, let's uh, jump across. But thank you, Manda, for the suggestion. That's a good one. Uh, so, Snick's suggesting the intruder, the multi sniper. Let's go and see and find that. Multi sniper. Okay, here we go. Why do you like this one, Snick? What appeals to you about this character? It instantly looks like DC Comics Red Hood to me. <laughs> so, very impressive. Yeah, that's the, that's the red hood. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about it. It's red and brown. If you know uh, DC comic books, this should be a jumping out at you. You like the pose with the female figure from the packs? Oh, is this part of a pack then? Let's just see if there's any... Oh, is it part of the Nomad sn starter pack? Is that what you're referring to? You're saying the, the, uh, the, the female, so I'm assuming it's this one. Oh, the other one, right? Do apologize. Okay. So first of all, though, before we uh, sort of jump ahead, did uh, did people like this one? Did uh, does this appeal to others in the chat tonight? So it's a thumbs up for Z uh, Xander, but it's a thumbs down for Manda. Okay. Well, that's fine. Again, there's no right answer to any of this. Let's see if we uh, find this pack then. Ah, so this is the uh, the character you like. No, oh, wrong one. Okay, let's continue through. Skip. <laughs> okay, so that's like looks like the red hood. Oh, do you like this robotic one? This one. Okay, yeah, this is definitely interesting, isn't it? See, I don't know whether she's robotic. She could have some sort of special. Um, suit underneath but in saying that though her neck is very long isn't it <laughs> that's an unnaturally long neck if it's if she's not uh if she's not robotic <laughs> okay good choice and uh, so okay so people what do you think okay okay so xander's saying all right uh wild seven is like yep yeah, like this one and uh Manda's saying middle, can't say up, can't say down. I am so glad, Manda, that you do not run the Colosseum. Okay. I actually like this one. I think this one's quite cool. I think that's alright. I like the I like the rifle and the jetpack. Yeah, I think that's quite cool. Xander's saying Operation Red Veil. Let us see about this. Uh oh gosh. Right, so are you referring to the whole pack here, Xander? You're just musing. Okay, well, let's let's take a look. Let's see what's in there. Wow, my goodness. So, there is a whole load of stuff here. Now, this is something that I really do like about Infinity. I love the scenery. I think the scenery is very cool. Again, I like that sort of... Well, I guess Cyberpunk 2077, is it 2077? Yeah, exclamation, breathtaking. It's really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you, Xander. So, yeah, no, that's cool. I, I like it. I mean, I do really like the setting of Infinity. So, Wild7, I, I assume that you are a regular player of Infinity, yes? These are nice. Oh, you've not played it in months, right, okay. Right, right, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to flick through these because I think there's going to just be far too many for us to look at. I do like some of these armoured uh, 
characters. These are cool. Again, is is there something about the color schemes that they've done? I love this orange and blues of this particular faction. I think it works really well. And of course, Snick, you painted your is it the Guilia uh, tag from this uh, this grouping? So you're after some robots here. Oh, these are interesting. Robots are awesome, yeah. Again, nice weathering uh, done on them. Seen a bit of action. We got some other remotes. Should we take a look at those? Gosh, why is this reminding me of Master Chief? <laughs> Hello, Drakhouse. Welcome to the channel. So, oh, excellent. You've jumped straight on in with a suggestion. Let us take a look at that. Is it this one here? I think that might be the one, mightn't it? What What do you like about this character? Is it... Uh, is it the pose? Is it the actual abilities of the character in the game if you are a Infinity player? What what appeals? He screams death. <laughs> okay, okay. What do other people think? Do we do we have thumbs up, thumbs middle or thumbs down on this one? So that Xander gives us a <laughs> Nomadic Chris saying their sculpts are all so tight. Uh, this one is very up my alley. Defo thumbs up. Right, excellent. Good call on this one, Draghouse. Well, thank you very much for joining on in. Let's take a look. Manda has suggested Miranda Ashcroft. Okay. So... What do people think of Miranda Ashcroft? Well, this is the first uh, miniature we've seen with some form of katana, isn't it? Of course, uh, Infinity to me seems to be heavily influenced uh, with sort of Eastern culture. Uh, a lot of sort of samurai uh, theming going on in there. Her ability to assassinate with heels on, yeah. But you realise that, of course, those heels, there are several knives stashed inside the heel. You like her background, says Drakhouse. Okay. It's just because I'm obviously a bit of a noob as far as Infinity is concerned. So where do you find the background? Uh, is it something in the rule book? Is it online? Do you get cards with the miniature that tell you? Xander's saying it's a nice model. Obviously, it's a thumbs up from Manda who chose it. Drakhouse is saying it's a thumbs up. Nomadic Chris is saying she's sassy. Let's take a look at some of the other... Skipping on round. Right, okay. So, yeah, it's in the, in the books that you get with the game. All right, cool. No, thank you very much once again. She looks good. Ooh, yeah. Now the this is this is part of the game that I really do like the look of the bikes. The bikes are very very cool. Now these are impressive, aren't they? And as uh, as you're saying, uh, Xander, it's very Akira, <laughs> breathtaking, Chris. Yes, yes, indeed. I want. Do you get the two bikes, or is it showing the same bike with variants? I wonder. Oh, actually, no, it is two different because it's a it's a man and a woman isn't it let's uh jump to see some other angles yeah that'd be really nice i don't i think there is an another bike that is i personally think is better than this one i will try and find it later uh, that's on again that's only my personal preference on it but they do do a good range of uh of bikes in this game right okay so these actually were uh a favourite of yours then, right? Excellent. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming we're getting thumbs up from everybody on this. Let me put a mini in that I'm aware of. I just have to bring this one up for obvious reasons. 
<laughs> well, thank you, Chris, for being so precise. <laughs> it is a monkey. You see, Infinity's got a monkey, and that being the case, it scores points, doesn't it? <laughs> so I guess, because from what I understand, there is no sort of animals. These are people that have had, is it augmentations to look like creatures? Am I right in thinking that? So I like that one. Uh, and I've got to do this one. I thought this she was quite cool. I like the idea that some of the characters seem to be not necessarily combat orientated. So I think she's uh, is she a sort of counselor, ambassador type of thing. So there's some sort of uh, poly political aspect. Now I do have this miniature, and I will repaint her at, a, at some point. Now that I know exactly how I'm going to tackle her. Uh, but Sarah from the Simeon Collective has already done a wonderful diorama with her, which you can, of course, check out. Classy, and the piggy's adorable. Yes, there, there seems to be quite a few little um, familiars, let's call them that, uh, across the range. There you go. So, Imperial Service Judge. Again, I, I don't know how that quite works into the game, but I find it fascinating that it's there. Uh, let me see if I can find... I don't think this is the one I was thinking of. So again, I think this is really cool. What do you guys think of this bike? I, I like the wheels on it. That, make, that says very futuristic to me. So Amanda, you like the character but dislike the bike. Okay, all right. You're going to grab this model, says Wild7. <laughs> This is just, this is purely an appreciation stream. You <laughs> but uh, as, as I said right from the offset, there's 450 odd models out there. I'm just staggered that uh, there's just so many. I just wasn't aware of that. She's not in a rush. No, she's, she's parked up. She's on the sidewalk. She's scoping she, uh, the, the target that's further down the street. But there is another bike. Let's go for the, con the contender. Again, we've got some katana action going on here. What do people think? Is this is this uh, ticking a box? You've got a painted one. Well, Drakhouse, join the Discord server. We will take a look. And you want a prize? Please do. <laughs> join the Discord server and we'll take a look. So, Manda, not your style. What faction is this? Oh, gosh, Chris, you're really putting me to it now. This is the Shikami Contender. And it's those two factions here. This heavy infantry equipped with ODD is a very tough specialist operative and a very lethal melee contender. Oh, I like the alternate head. That's cool. That's very uh, sort of samurai, isn't it? I like. Oh yeah, I like that much better. Yeah, that's much better. Hello, hot dice miniatures. Welcome. We uh, we are working our way through some of the uh, miniatures from Infinity. We are pretty much just checking them out, putting forward suggestions. Uh, and then, just like the emperors of old Colosseum days, we are giving the thumbs up, the thumbs middle, or the thumbs down. All right, so you, you guys don't like the hat, right? Okay, again, interesting. It's good to get people's points of view. It, it's interesting how the same miniature can, of course, get lots of different responses. Ooh, okay, we're going for the big guns now from Manda. This is the Blackjacks, 10th Heavy Ranger Battalion, it must be, I guess. Now that is an impressive mini. What do people think? What do we think of the paint job? What do we think of the actual miniature? Because we, this is a more clunky armoured suit. We've seen, obviously, the tags. They seem to be quite streamlined. 
this one seems heavy. This is like the war machine to the Iron Man, isn't it? So while Seven saying this looks fun to paint, Manda is saying this just looks so functional. Chris is saying looks stiff. Hot Dice is, oh, it's a thumbs up. Xander saying paint job is so so compared to the others, but the model is cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All good comments. Okay, Draghouse, why? Why did you like this one? What's appealing about it? You love how calm she is. Ah, yeah, she's like doing a uh, sort of radio comms, isn't she? Uh, Chris is saying like the uh, the yellow and blue color scheme. So she's a commander, right? Okay. Awesome. Let us see. Was there somebody else who suggested? Right. Okay. Now, I'm going to assume that this miniature doesn't come with this wonderful sort of schematic -y type of thing. You're supposed to imagine that that's what's happening. It's a shame you can't get some uh, Perspex disc. Maybe you can. Maybe that's what you could do is, is cut out from the blister pack a circle and paint the, uh, the image on it. That could be quite cool. So there are discs that you can buy for the hacking. Yeah, okay, excellent. Yeah, because they're really showing it on the artwork, but of course it's not part of the mini, is it? All right. Um, time is moving on. As much as... So, so can I just get some feedback from you guys? Have you enjoyed this? Is this something that you'd be interested in doing with other ranges? Uh, so I was saying, yeah, it's fun. Check out Mercy Miniatures next. Yep, yeah, know those guys. Uh, Amanda saying, yes. Xander saying, yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Draco saying, yeah, getting different uh, opinions on things I've not thought about before. Okay, so we seem to be, uh, everyone seems quite happy with it. All right. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions on how I might make it better, then let me know. This guy's funky. I can imagine that's quite a big mini. Is that maybe up to 40, 40 mil, something like that? <laughs> Diplomatic division with an assault rifle. Yes. <laughs> it's the best way to negotiate. <laughs> okay, so what are people thinking? Thumbs up, thumbs middle, thumbs down. So we're getting lots of thumbs up. We're liking this guy. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's do this as the last one then. Ah, here we go. What do we think of this bike? <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Structurally unsound. <laughs> uh, we're liking the painting. Okay. I like the painting of the the girl. I think that the bike could look better in a different scheme as far as the black, red, and white. Very Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah. Like the chopper look. Yes, yes. It, it's the chopper, but it's then the futuristic uh, sort of style as well, isn't it? So what are we thinking? Um... Technical aspects of whether the bike is structurally sound or not. Uh, is this a thumbs up? Thumbs down? Thumbs middle? Getting a thumbs up from Hot Dice. Amanda likes the rider. Wild Seven saying thumbs up. Thumbs middle from Xander. Oh, that's interesting. You prefer her other version. So, oh, is there a different version of her then? See, we're learning so much here because we all uh, just sort of checking it out. This has been this has been good. I've I've ah uh... oh, okay. <laughs> you see what's happened now. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a tough one now. 
See, I prefer her pose in the last one, but maybe this bike... Oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? So, Manda's saying prefers the other. She looks more aggressive on this one. Okay. Chris is saying he likes this one far less. Right. Again, it's... We all, you know, we can all see the same miniature and we can all come at it from a different angle. There's no right or wrong. Um, it's just good to be able to uh, chat and get different perspe perspectives. I'm glad that we actually do have some players of Infinity on here because, of course, you guys can tell us whether the miniature actually is good in game-wise. Uh, I think for the most of us, we're just looking at it aesthetically and then, of course, looking at the paint scheme and thinking whether we could do better or worse, I suppose. See, I prefer the colours on this bike than I did on the other one, but I prefer the other bike. So, and, 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 and because of the nature of the bike, it means that the character has a more easy sort of pose, I guess, is the only way to say. So she's scary against highly armoured troops. I, I wonder, so she, does what she have on... Has she got a sword? Yeah. Oh. Exclamation booty. Yeah, so you've obviously got to think of her like a cavalry piece, haven't you? Just riding into the into the fray, slashing at uh, characters. Cuts you in one wound. Yeah, yeah, can well imagine. Uh, and again, thank you so much to everybody putting forward their suggestions. Thank you to some of our new viewers tonight who have uh, contributed. Uh, we do appreciate your uh, your knowledge of the game, so that's been really good fun. Thank you. And uh, yeah, if you have suggestions, I, I think there is a comments page on the Discord. Uh, let me know, and uh, we shall uh, see whom whose range we can take a look at next time. Okay, let's see who we need to thank. So, thank you so much to Wild788 for joining the group. Uh, pleasure to meet you and I hope you enjoyed the show. Bye, everybody. Have a good evening, and I shall talk to you tomorrow. But until then, bye for now.